Hi, I'm former Republican State Senator Phil Harriman. This is my friend and colleague, former Democratic State Senator Ethan Strimling. Ethan, a few weeks ago, the uh, reports were that the Governor's Association uh, for the Republicans had raised almost $70 million and were going to use that to re-elect or elect Republican governors. Uh, supporters of Mike Mishu nationally have committed to spending $2 million to launch his campaign, at least from a media point of view. Uh, what does all this mean to you, and what should we be looking at as the weeks unfold? Well, you know, there's a famous line in politics, which is, follow the money, right? Now, that term actually really came from Watergate and corruption, but in this case, what it means is, where the money is going, that's where the competitive races are. So what we're seeing here in the state of Maine is that the Republicans see this as a very important top-tier race, and they fully believe that Paul LePage can be reelected. Democrats, likewise, see this as a top-tier opportunity to pick up a new seat, and that's why they're putting all this money behind Mike Michaud, no doubt about it. So that, that, that's one thing to bring in with a big push of money and help mo uh, build the momentum of a campaign. What happens after this? Is there more money coming after? Well, there may be if each campaign does well. And remember, what this money is going to do is going to be all negative, right? This money is going to try to define the other candidate and say every nasty thing that the one candidate can't see, can't say. And if they do do that and start to bring a candidate down, then you might see money start to disappear. It's the same. It's the follow the money, but in the other direction. Yeah, I, I, I can see that unfolding. It, the key is that if, uh, if one of these candidates really stumbles and falls, Politically speaking, that money is going to run like an antelope on the African prairie, uh, which means Elliot Cutler has got to find a way soon to become relevant in this race, or he may be stampeded. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's a good point. Elliot Cutler is the only candidate in the race so far who's actually had an independent expenditure on their behalf. Right. And it really, they spent over $100,000, didn't see any movement in the polls. I think if other groups are going to do that and join in, they need to see some upward momentum. They won't put much money in if he stays at 14 or 15%. Agreed.